But, you know, on, on some of these goals like this, communication goals, those are a little more difficult sometimes, you know, because remodeling or fixing a bathroom, my gosh, you know, some of that is pretty easy in, in creating tasks there. For example, let's do that the easy one. Fix my bathroom. Okay, uh, name some tasks for that. Putty. What's that? Putty. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, purchase. Purchase materials, honey. Okay, and then under purchase materials, that is the putty. Okay. Okay. And what else would I purchase? Wood. Sand. Yeah, wood. That's good. Paper. Sand. Paper. <laughs> I almost forgot the paper part. Sand. <laughs> sand paper. Anything else? Paint. Paint. Yeah. And there are actually two different kinds of paint. And actually, the quantity, yeah. right? Quantity. There we go. Okay. So, stronger anchoring uh, for the uh, towel rack. Right. Yeah, anchors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stud so plan. Like yeah. Yeah. Stud yeah. fight plan. You have a task name or actions to do, like purchase, uh, purchase materials, time allowed. Well, it depends upon who I go to the store with. You know, when a man goes into the store, if he goes into a clothing store, how much time does he take? Five minutes. Five minutes. If a man goes into a hardware store, how long does it take? Five hours. <laughs> okay, time allowed. I mean, that is, is that true? Okay, time complete. That is, check. You, actually, what I'd like you to do is when you want it done, right, as well as when it's done. You check it. Okay. Resources available? Well, the available resources is I went out and checked before I went to the store and I found out I did have some sandpaper. Because I most often will hear my wife say, why did you buy blank, blank, blank? We have some. <laughs> you know? Sorry, I just didn't know, you know. And she's really good. She knows what we have and don't have. So I try to remember to ask her what we have. So, but sometimes I don't, because a man likes to buy hardware stuff, you know. Makes you feel good. Right? I mean, you know, doesn't it, Brian? I mean, you just want to buy something. Like a man. Yeah. That's the hunting. The hunting. Don't we already have a hammer? <laughs> this hammer feels different. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So, resources needed? Well, priority is actually the central part, um, be because, what? Why would priority be so important? Some things have to be done before something else can follow. Yeah, we're somewhat in a linear world. Somewhat, not completely. Okay. Well, let's say you're the spaghetti behavioral goal type person. Where's your priority? There is at the moment. Well, the priority is, yeah. The priority is walk to the basement and see how many things you got to do before you <laughs> walk worry. back out. No, it's go down to the basement and then come back upstairs five times and forget what you went down there for. Yeah, it is, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> you go here and, oh, I got to, oh, yeah, I forgot. I do this. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I got to go. I forgot about that, right? Yes. This, oh, <laughs> Does that happen to anybody? <laughs> Never. <laughs> See, what she does is she grabs her husband and he just reels around. Okay. <laughs> In the time complete column, all right, to see when you go to review it where you're at. And if you use a pencil, yes, you can use the same line. Or there's plenty of lines, there's plenty of paper. You could rewrite your task, see how far you are along there, and, and then take it from there. And you can just use a new line, okay? Now, um, for that, just so we know we're on the same page, go to your um, uh, sample sheet. Oh, you can oh, do some other things on it. And in walks someone who says, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta use the bathroom. Okay, okay. So you walk out. And as you stand there, you hear a noise that is unpleasant to your ears. And what's that? Crunch. Crunch. And you go, what do you do? Yeah! <laughs> so, in that moment, you would grab your little 
observation. <laughs> Goal setting journal here. I lost my cool. Yeah. And you write in rage. <laughs> my mental state kill. <laughs> right? Okay. Frustration. Okay? Now this is a simple example, but if you, um, let's say it's in a, uh, a business and, and you observed this and you wrote down every time you were enraged when you were in your business, could that tell you anything about what's going on? Tell you who to fire. Yeah, it could be who to fire. Could be also telling you patterns. Come on in, have a seat. It could, it could inform you of amazing things. It could show you beliefs and understandings. And you could also see, oh my gosh, I'm just like my dad, right? Yeah. Or something like that. I never thought I was like him. Now all of a sudden I am. Ah, you get enraged about that too, right? <laughs> my dad wasn't that way, but but anyway. So it's just it's just a possibility. Physical and mental states. That could be the, your your physicality. You know. Mm, right? could be what you do. You could tighten up your muscles. The salesman is making these calls, right? Well, like this. And what if he's making these calls like this? <coughs> huh? Could that affect what you're saying on the phone? Hi, how are you doing? Right? That definitely could affect it. <coughs> or you could go, yeah, you ought to buy this, you stupid. <laughs> your, your physical, mental, emotional state it could affect it. So, um, observing this is really powerful. Now, what is really cool, if I know you're busy and it's hard to sit down and write every little thing that happens in your life, but if you have it there around you, just have it around and note it. You'd be amazed at a pattern. Even if you have to do it at the end of the day, if you can't do it in the moment, go back and say, okay, what was, I, what was the task? What was the emotion? Oh, I was at peace in that moment. Why was I at peace? It could be for a positive reason. It doesn't have to always be a rage emotion, right? It could be a peaceful thing. Uh, as I mentioned to others at other times, laying tile, I don't want to do it as a profession. My knees won't handle it. But for some reason, some things, even painting sometimes, it, it just is nice. It's just fun. It just relaxes me and I enjoy it. I won't do it as a profession. I, I do other things as that. But it, it's, you know, that tells me something about myself, doesn't it? They get stuck. They think they know, but they probably don't. They think it may be the plan, which could be true, but they maybe they're not planning because they have so much fear over in this area that won't show up until they actually do it. Most of the time, the body only gives you information you can handle. So if you don't write it down, you don't know the real stuff. The real stuff only shows up through observation awareness. Okay? When you become aware, then the real story starts to surface, and then you can make permanent change. Okay? That's when it happens. Awake, arise, change. You can actually take action at that moment.